recruitment hiring is projected to grow fast, and then they have jobs in lobbying, and aerospace, defense contracting, and professional services are also a draw. Um, it's a national leader in high tech services, and they have 4,000 plus nonprofits which are appealing to service minded people. The downside is, is that by next year, the panelists think that the government will be looking at making cuts in jobs. Um, David Gibson, who is 25, he passed up jobs in Charlotte, New York, and Atlanta to live in Washington, D.C. He is now a financial analyst for the Federal Reserve, and he chose to live there because of the educational opportunities and the cultural aspects. Seattle, Washington was also in first place, and it's high tech and lifestyle mecca were one of the draws. Um, its unemployment rate is relatively low at 7.7%, and it has rapid growth in biotech and many jobs in music and interactive media. The downside is that it rains a lot. Um, Lane Coleman and Matt Mansbach settled in Seattle instead of New York and Chicago. They like the diverse high tech sector, cultural life, and outdoor activities <coughs> in the strong universities. Um, Coleman has taken a job with Microsoft as a new product researcher. Mr. Mansbach is thinking about attending one of the city's grad schools for career innovation. Okay, so New York was ranked as third place, and the unemployment is actually kind of high at 10.3. But this is because a lot of people are continuing to move there because they think jobs are there. And it hasn't lost as many jobs as it thought, as it, thought it was going to, so that's the positive. And actually it's becoming more affordable due to residential growth in the boroughs. But the downside is that it's still somewhat unaffordable and it has commutes. And Allison Bailey, who's a 2009 grad, moved to New York from Houston. She decided to move there because she really likes the European lifestyle and the fact that she can walk to places. Um, she works at, as a litigation assistant for a law firm and she 